is Chris Collinsworth and the Dean of the College of Arts and Letters, a Notre Dame alum. John McGreevy joins me now in the studio. And John, thanks so much. Tell me a little bit about the College of Arts and Letters. You guys are, have taken over the universe. This is the biggest college by far. Uh, it's the, the oldest and largest. 500 faculty, 3,000 undergrads, 1,000 graduate students, and 20 academic departments, and they all answer to you. I'm not sure they all actually answer to me, <laughs> uh, but that is the College of Arts and Letters. You're very kind to say that. T give us a little background on this college and, and, and what it all encompasses. So, Arts and Letters, as you said, is the oldest and largest college in the university. It was started right when the university was started, and now composes 20 different departments, and those are all the departments in the social sciences, so econ, political science, and soch, in the humanities, history, and English, philosophy, and theology, and classics, and the languages, and in the arts, and I think your son is one of our arts majors. Look out. In film, television, theater, <laughs> and art, and music. And, and you must have some students that have graduated from here that are doing incredible things around the world. You know, we're lucky. I always feel we're so privileged to work with these students now, and really I, I, they go into everything you can imagine that's a nice thing about arts and letters is the flexibility of the degree and so we've got kids who go work for big corporations like google and disney and procter and gamble we've got kids who go into elite graduate schools and professional schools who go to wall street uh, and also students who do full-time service in the peace corps and ace our own teacher service program here at notre dame so we really see the flexibility of the degree as something exciting and and it's an investment. You know, the first job isn't the most important job you get. Uh, it's, the, it's, it's the degree for a lifetime. Yeah, that football job of mine didn't mean anything at all to me. <laughs> I, I didn't, didn't mean a thing. I, I, there's a new major coming along, right? Uh, you teaming up with the, the science department, right. the neuroscience mm -hmm. major, is that right? Yeah, it's brand new this year, and we've been kind of blown away by how many students are interested in it. You know, Notre Dame has never had a neuroscience major. Now, t and tell everybody what that is. So, you know, neuroscience is kind of at the intersection of psychology and biology. And you're interested in how the brain works and how the brain is connected to the body. Uh, and we didn't have neuroscience at Notre Dame, in part because we didn't have a medical school. But Greg Crawford, who's the dean of science, and myself got together and said, let's create a major that takes some classes from psychology, some classes from biology, and kids can put those together. And we're kind of stunned. In a year, we've got over 100 kids doing it. So there was a real demand out there for students who maybe are thinking about medical school or maybe they're thinking about going into the world of either psychology or big science. You've had some students be awarded some major awards. I understand a Rhodes Scholar this year yeah, as well. Yeah, very proud of that. Alex Kocha won a Rhodes Scholar this year. A couple of uh, Fulbright Award yeah. winners as well. Top 10 in the country in Fulbright. That's, uh, they must have the greatest department head of all time. I mean, <laughs> there's truly genius at I, the top of this. I mean, certainly one of the greatest of all time. Yeah, no, I'm well, just kidding. Digger, uh, Digger uh, claims right, the title on right, top, right, but, you know, he that. said just underneath that. there, right? I'm just happy to be in the same sentence as Digger Phelps. And so, me too. Uh, yeah, me too. Uh, you know, if you want to get one of these prestigious national fellowships after college, the things you've got to do are you've got to do really well in your classes, but there are a lot of kids who do well in your classes. You want to have a study abroad experience. You want to do research in that experience, and you want to do a senior thesis. And it's that combination of research and a senior thesis, the study abroad experience, and then doing well in your coursework that kind of gets you in the door for those fellowships. And listen, all the colleges at Notre Dame do that well. I don't want to put arts and letters above anybody else, but we think we're doing that pretty well right now. Now, we want to do it better. You know, we're in the top 10 in Fulbright's. We're not number one. We're doing, we won a Rhodes this year, but we would like to win more. But I do think it's that combination of research, classroom work, and then study abroad experience that really is the key. Well, everybody watching this program wants Notre Dame to be the best at everything. Right. And if you want to be the best, sometimes you have to upgrade the facilities right. a little bit. I understand we have uh, at least one project underway. It's really exciting. Two. Two really well, big projects for our letters. So, uh, one is, and you probably know about this, the Campus Crossroads Project, which Absolutely. is going around the football stadium. Absolutely. Which is going to be huge for the College of Arts and Letters. It's going to be a new home for our departments of psychology and anthropology, uh, which have been scattered in seven different departments before. And now those faculty and undergraduates and graduate students will be together. And then the South building around the stadium will be music. And so for the first time since the 19th century, we're going to have a new building for our music and sacred music programs. And 
this April, we're going to break ground on a new building for all of our social science departments, linking to the International Institutes and the new Global School. That's going to be called Nanovec Hall, Jenkins Hall, two, two buildings in one. And that's going to be the first time that our social science departments, econ, political science, and sociology, have been together and will have the chance to collaborate in a way they never have had before. Well, John, everybody knows around here what a special job you do, and, and we're, all, we're all blessed to have you here managing the biggest <laughs> college in, in all of Notre Dame. You impact more of the well, students than anybody, and uh, we're really proud of everything you've I'm very happy to be here. I feel very lucky to be here. Very, very happy to have a Collinsworth in my college. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you very much, right. John. All right, we're going to take a short break, and we'll be right back with more.